Just when I can barely stand it anymore, he starts. You are out of character. Your conduct is rude. The exact opposite of refinement. An absolute redneck. Their speech is intolerable to the ears. Its lack of sophistication is evident. And more than anything, that expression of yours is downright idiotic. It's a source of irritation to even sit in front of you like that. If I were a woman, I would spit on the idea of a tryst with you, no matter how vulgar. I would scoff at the very idea. A sudden storm of criticism. My body squirms like he's punched me in the stomach. If a fair elven lady had told me so frankly, it would have ruined me. Hadeen rests his head, elbow on the armrest and legs crossed. That must be how it feels when a king judges you. And all this with an utterly disappointed look on his face, making it clear that he found me wanting. Ack, this is so bad. I just want to die. However, she was the one who chose you. It's not up to me to contest, he adds. That last part felt more like it to him than it did to me. Adjusting his glasses, Hey Dean resumes his interrogation. What do you intend to wear on the day of? What are your specific plans for the event? Have you already chosen a place to visit with her? I'm telling you to lay your plans to please Lady Seer, you simpleton. Is your mind darker than that of a brute? There is no respite. His words are blunt. This is on an entirely different level from Lily's scolding. What did I do to deserve this? Wait, more important. Wait a minute please. I haven't even decided whether to accept. Idiot. As if you already had a choice. You can only cry with joy at the honor bestowed upon you. Cry into what? If I were forced to formulate this as a choice, then your options are to offer Lady Seer the greatest joy this mortal realm has to offer, or otherwise grant her eternal happiness. One or the other. They are not the same thing. That's not even a choice. I have no idea what to make of the outrageous situation I've found myself in, but then Hadeen's expression goes still. If, by any chance, you are foolish enough to decline her invitation, you and the entire Hestia Familia will be erased. The elven shopkeeper is still just reading his book, totally unfazed by that cold pronouncement or my shout. I bet that's how it feels to be a villager kneeling before a king's throne and receiving the death sentence. Blood pours from my face and it feels like the end of the world has arrived. The white elf sitting there with dignity and composure as he made that pronouncement is the epitome of a tyrant. He's serious. He really meant it. There is no doubt that the full power of the Freya Familia would be able to wipe me, and the rest of the family, off the face of the earth. I can't say no. Before I even get a chance to talk to Seer herself, it's already been decided by me that I'm going to take her out on a date. Her wish is equivalent to the goddess's divine will, Hadeen says as a swirl of emotions crosses my face. If she wishes, we will move as her arms and legs. Even if it meant becoming outcasts, we would still do so in the shadows. It was almost as if he was taking an oath, closing off any possible escape route for me. I can't stop sweating. An overwhelming sense of danger wells up inside me. I have a dream. A person I'm chasing. If I go on a date without even mentioning it, that would be bad. That might just be a line that can't be uncrossed. Is there someone I... At that instant, his right hand squeezes my face faster than lightning can strike. Don't make me repeat myself, you clown, he says, rising to his feet as he lifts me out of my chair, legs dangling out from under me. On the day of the date, all you have to do is look at Lady Seer and no one else. Attachment to other women or even imagining the face of someone other than Lady Seer will not be tolerated. 
Such vulgar thoughts are unnecessary. Don't think of anything but her. There is nothing but pleasing her. She is the center of your little world now. I kick my legs awkwardly like a rabbit grabbed by the ears, but it's no use. EU can do nothing as Hayden unleashes a series of terrifying warnings. He swings his arm to the side, sending me rolling across the floor as I cry out in surprise. Looking up, I see an elf far more terrifying than any monster looking at me with an icy gaze. I don't think it's worth it. As I suspected, just evaluating you won't be enough. Your mindset, your understanding of the proper way to escort a lady will all need to be reshaped. Wait, what does that mean? During the five days from now until the festival, you won't have free time even to sleep. Two have things to do with my family though. Idiot. What's more important, Lady Seer or playing family with your so-called friends? Arg, not good. Words cannot reach him. He's just like Liu, an elf who stands his ground no matter what. A shadow falls over me as I fall helpless to the ground. Tears well in my eyes and blood trickles down my cheeks, but he pays no attention as he makes his proclamation. I will demonstrate my loyalty. Nothing more and nothing less. Get ready. <laughs>